three value b pi. So when you subtract integers, to subtract integers, for example, I have five minus negative three. I'm gonna keep the first one, which is five. I'm gonna change subtraction to addition, and I will use the opposite of the next one. What is the opposite of negative three? It's three. That's gonna give me eight. And for this one, there are so many ways you can solve for this type of integers. We have negative five and subtract three. Negative five, subtract three. We can do the same thing. We keep the first one. We change subtraction to addition. And we use the opposite of three. It's negative three. Now we add in two same sign. Whenever you add in same sign, you keep the sign that you add in, which is we are adding the negatives. So that's gonna be negative, then we add five plus three is eight. That's how you subtract integers. And another way you can do this, I said it already. Let's say if we use the number line, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative, okay, negative seven. So if we start negative five, let's say we start here at negative five, we're going where? We're going toward the negative. How many units will go to the negative? It's three units. So negative will go to the left side. We start here and one unit, two unit, and three units. So that's gonna give you negative eight. All right, you start at negative five and you're going to negative three. Still negative eight. So there's so many ways you can subtract integers. That's it.